file. This is the Elite, and today I'm going to talk about inserter clocking. So what is inserter clocking? Inserter clocking is the idea of using the circuit network to reduce how much activity your inserters have, and that this can save on processing time and improve your UPS if used correctly. So in front of us here you can see that we have a furnace and that the output inserter here is going constantly. Every time it finishes a swing it goes back, sees there's some plates and swings again, even though it could be swinging less often and picking up a whole stack of 12 at a time. So inserter clocking, as is done here, you can see it swings a lot less. And if we watch the furnace, it swings every time there's 12. So how do we figure out how to do inserter clocking, how to clock our inserters? First thing you should do is go to the Kirk McDonald's calculator and set it up for what you're building. Usually that'll be you know, blue belts, top tier assembly machines, B24 uh, modules and beacons and productivity modules. Then you choose the recipe you want. So in my case here I'm going to use iron plate. And then we see that uh, once that recipe is set up um, you get a rate in items per second on the output. I guess you can also set that up for items per second there. And this doesn't immediately help us, but from here we can calculate how many swings it, or how often we need to swing. So what we then need to do is figure out, uh, convert this into how often a swing needs to happen. So we divide 12 by this number, 5.025, and that'll give us a number uh, that's not terribly helpful, 2.3880597. Um, you can see it here, but Wolfram Alpha is a great resource for this because it can build you fractions, which is useful for what we want. So we can see that that number is also the same as 160 over 67. And then what we need to do next is convert this into ticks since all of the circuit network stuff is going to count in ticks, so we just need to multiply it by 60. And that one is going to again show us that we have 9,600 over 67, and that's how we're going to build our clock. Actually building the clock requires a few combinators, and one thing I'm going to do, even though it's not completely necessary, is replace this output inserter with a uh, filter stack inserter. And the reason why is it's been determined that filter stack inserters are slightly better on processing time, so you might as well take that extra advantage. You can do this with normal inserters, though this is not necessary, but you'll get more benefit if you use filter stack inserters. So, first, we'll need a constant combinator, we will need one arithmetic combinator, and we will need one decider combinator, and this is what we're going to use to build our clock. So you can remember the number 67, we set that in here as the clock increment. So I'll use the letter C as my variable, and we set it to 67. Then we set up the arithmetic combinator for modulus, and remember the number, the other number we had was 9600, so we set that here as the modulus amount, and we take input C and put that in there. And if we connect these up, so you connect the green green wire or whatever wire from the constant combinator over to the input of this and then you have to connect the output of this arithmetic combinator back to its own input and we'll see here that this creates a clock that counts up to 9600 by 67s and um, of course modulus will keep the remainder after it rolls over so that uh, gets us our, our exact clock and then we need to convert it um, we, don't, we want to protect the, the inserters, since we'll probably have a whole bunch of them from seeing all of these state changes, because every time there's a state change, uh, every connected entity needs to update, so we want to have another combinator in front, and this combinator is also going to convert this value C into our filter symbol. So all we need to do here is set it up for if C is less than 67, which was our same value we used counter uh, and we only want this to be high for one tick so then we output iron plate as a one and so now we can uh, see that there'll be a bl brief blip it's kind of hard to see there but iron plate does show up for one tick so if we wire this up the output of this combinator into this inserter and then we configure the inserter for set filter we'll see is that this now starts working and if we observe the uh, 
this, and I'll just take away the stack of plates so it's easier to tell, that, uh, see, it grabs every 12. So that's how you build a clock. So now that we've built the clock for our output inserters, does this work with belts or only with chests? Well, if you're unloading from a machine or a chest onto a belt using a clocked inserter, it works just fine. So here, this is exactly the same clock we just had, and you can see that it's working just as you would expect. However, picking up from a belt is a little bit trickier. Here's our same clock, but even though it is showing uh, the blip for the um, iron plate, the inserter isn't moving. Why is that? So in our case here, we want to figure out how long a single inserter swing takes. So let's take that number of items in a swing, 12, divide that by the 15.32 items per second we saw. And that'll tell us that one inserter swing takes this 0 0.783 seconds. And if we multiply that by 60 to get a value in ticks, we see that it is actually 47 ticks uh, to pick for a full swing on a belt, approximately. Now the last 13 ticks of that, since a normal chest-to-chest -chest inserter swing takes 26 ticks, so we know that the last 13 ticks is going to be swinging back. But because the inserter is active when it's swinging anyway, uh, it doesn't really matter whether our, our clock is on or off for that period. So we'll just say one tick less than 47 and multiply that by the the 67 we had for the uh, the clock level, and that gives us a number of 3,082. If we go back in game here and change this decider combinator instead of 67 to set it to 3,082, we will see that. Oh, my chest is full. <laughs> that it should now start swinging in stacks of 12. And that is how you do inserter clocking. Thanks for watching.